Oh. Hello, very warm welcome. Finally, we are joined by Tech Man Jack. Tech Man, I like that. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows you as my technology man. Oh, it's been a while, mate. Yeah, it has. It's been too long. We've we've tried to film this video so many times, and something's just come up. So to finally get it filmed, it's good. Yeah, yeah, I was always getting you on the channel, but it was just when, whenever we're both free. So yeah, in today's video, we're going to have Jack's bold predictions for 2022. Now I brought mine out. I've got no idea what he's going to say. So how bold have you gone? Yeah, so I've, I've got a few written, written down. I'll, uh, I'll just go through them one by one and we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, go the on. First, the first one. As a Max fan, I don't think it's that bold, but I just had to get it get it out of the way. Max gets his second championship in a row. Okay, I you've think, gone. Yeah, well, after every big regs change, Red Bull has been there. And between Max and Perez, it's obviously going to be Max, isn't it? So yeah. um, we're hoping that Nui does his, does his thing. We end up with like a four times diffuser and max is just ahead okay i i would i don't think that's too bold to be honest i think you've gone pretty light to start with it gets worse it gets worse go on then uh, so ricardo beats norris in the championship okay okay yeah. uh, again i don't think that's too bold i think that could happen you come with your uh, McLaren top on today. Ah, uh, yeah, it's the old one though, with the yeah. Renault logo. Uh, um, I, I feel like Ricardo, at the start of his McLaren days, he was behind, but he's finding his feet now. This new car has got a year of his development on it. He's going to be, well, he, he will have a massive impact on how that car was designed. And I think out of him and Norris, he's got the experience he will build that car around him and I'm, I'm, I'm expecting him to be fast out of the blocks in 2022. Yeah, it's a big season ahead for Ricardo. Uh, yeah, he's got to beat Norris this season. Otherwise, uh, I see him moving teams again, which he can't be moving teams all the time. He's got to build a team around him. Yeah, and if you think about it, if he has a bad season this season, then what other team is going to want him? Yeah, that's a good point. He always gets linked with the Ferrari, but I think they've got a very good lineup at the minute, yeah. so I won't be changing that. Yeah, no, Ferrari, Ferrari is sticking with Leclerc and signs long term, and it's not even like he can go to somewhere where like Williams. That, in fact, I'm not going to say that because it contradicts my next one. But like somewhere like Haas, who need the good drivers, but they'd they'd rather take money over that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you've said two so far. I don't think they're two out the boat. Okay, let's go on to your third one. Albon beats Gasly in the championship. I had to think about that then. Albon, yeah. Williams. Uh, that Okay, okay, that one's bored. Yeah. But then so, again, Williams could be better than Alfa Tari. We don't know. Well, I'm going off the prediction that Williams have had... However many years I've been not good. They, yeah. They've developed they've developed the car massively last season. Hopefully they didn't spend too much money developing it and they've got a new car for next year. That's quick. But I think even if Alphatari come out with a, a good car, I think Gasly will crumble under pressure again. Uh. <laughs> Helen is going to be happy that you said Albon will beat Gasly, but I don't yeah. know about that one. We'll have to wait and see. We will have to wait and see, but bold, bold predictions have got to be bold. That that one's definitely bold. Okay. Uh, I think that Lewis will leave Mercedes. Yep. I, 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 again, I don't think that's too bold. If he wins the title... I think he's going to stick two fingers up at the FIA and says, I've got my eighth now, bye-bye. Yeah. I, I don't think he'll leave, though. I think he'll stay. He'll just leave Mercedes. 
Ah, so you think he'll go to another team? Yeah, yeah. Ah, what team would that be, though? Uh, I think the most likely one out of anybody would be McLaren. I think his heart's still there. That would be a good move, to be fair, because go back to the team where he started. Yeah. But McLaren needs to be competitive for that to happen. And Which... I don't know if he'll drop out of Norris and Ricardo. Yeah, and he's always been linked with Ferrari again, but whether that, I think that ship sailed now, I don't think see that. Oh, yeah, that, no. I, I don't think he'd want to anymore. Nah, okay. Um, how many predictions do you have? Five or? Right, we're at three, and I'm at, I mean, I've got five. Okay, yeah. Uh, so you mentioned where going back to your old team. I think Vettel's going to end up back at Red Bull. Yeah, there's been reports about it. Uh, it yeah. was it. Ecclestone said he should Ecclestone, go back to yeah. Red Bull. Well, I, I said it before, and then I get, when when Ecclestone says something, I kind of believe the opposite usually because he just talks rubbish. <laughs> he does, yeah. But this time, I, I think I, I think Vettel's heart is still at Red Bull, and. Red Bull's heart is still with Vettel. Interesting. Yeah, um, we did a video um, saying Vettel wasn't happy with his first season at Aston and he was yeah. expecting more. So if another dull season at Aston... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think the Red Bull links will always be there, but now Max yeah. is the number one. Could, he is. could them two get on as teammates? Is is um, Vettel quick enough anymore to give Max any competition for them to fall out? I oh, know. I'd like to see it, though, because it'd be fireworks. It would, yeah, it would. It'd be like uh, Rosberg Hamilton. It would be good, especially but if they're fighting for a championship as well. Have Red Bull learned a lesson from the, uh, the um, days of Vettel when he was winning? <sighs> Yeah, he gets a bit mardy when he's got competition. Yeah, so like just to recap my uh, ball predictions, if you didn't see that video, I said Sainz would win, Norris would win, Russell will be in a title fight, Yuki will score a podium, and a driver will get replaced mid-season. I don't know who that will be, but just run us through yours again. Jack? Uh, so I've got Max gets his second championship. Ricardo beats Norris. Albon beats Gasly. Lewis leaves Mercedes. Vettel returns to Red Bull. The third one's definitely the boldest. Albon will beat Gasly. Yeah. Well, I think your uh, someone will leave mid-season is your boldest. Because I, I don't think... I can't see a driver who would get dropped. Yeah, I mean, I don't think mine are too bold, actually. I think they're just predictions because yeah. I think the first three could happen. Uh, Yuki getting a podium, I mean, he needs to up his game, but, I mean, he finished fourth well, at Abu Dhabi. He's got, the, he's got the speed, yeah. He just isn't very consistent and he's prone to crashing. Yeah, it, I don't think he'll get... See, that's why I said a driver could get dropped mid-season because if Yuki starts performing like he did in his first season, we know how uh, like ruthless Red Bull are. Well, Red Bull need to keep Honda happy at the minute, don't they? Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure they've left, to be honest. Well, nearly left. They haven't quite left yet, have they? <laughs> yeah. Well, it was great to get you on, Jack, finally. It's great to be here. Yeah, comment down below your thoughts on Jack's bold predictions. I mean, that third one was pretty epic. Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Comment down below. And, yeah, thanks for coming on, Jack. Adios, adios.